Passive methodologies focus on the teacher transmitting information or content to students, primarily through minimally interactive lectures. In this approach, the teacher presents information in a logical and structured manner, gives examples, solves problems on the board, proposes tests, and corrects assignments. It's very likely that the role of students is reduced to receiving and accepting the teacher's knowledge. That is, they are sitting copying what the teacher writes, reading materials, or doing homework for another class. When the teacher asks questions, students often hide to avoid answering them. At the end of the class, they are sometimes given similar homework to what was done in class. This approach fosters superficial and rote learning in students. Active methodologies are an alternative for teaching theoretical classes, because in practice and seminars, they should always be active by definition. They require more intense student participation in their learning, moving from receiving information to evaluating and organizing knowledge. This provides more lasting retention. In active methodologies, the student structures the content instead of the teacher. By getting involved in shaping the content, students gain a better understanding than with passive approaches. I consider an active methodology to be one that allows students to be neuronally active, that is, to activate their prior knowledge, establish connections, and analyze both the content and those connections. This can be achieved with a brilliant lecture, group dynamics, PBL, or other methodologies that redesign a course or degree. The lecture can also be transformed into an active lecture. Some tools for achieving active classes are interactive lectures, autonomous work, learning contracts, portfolios, group work, group dynamics, project-based or problem-based learning, among others.